Previously on Majora's Mask. It's a Pona's song. The song of two who are bound by trust. That's right, I got my horse back. And now the continuation. Hey everybody, it's Deki no Sai here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we helped Romani save the ranch from alien invasions, and today we're gonna move on to her bigger sister, Kremia. That's right, Kremia is the bigger sister, and she is very, very, very sweet. Now, Romani's going to try to insist on um, going with her to deliver the milk, but of course, her bigger sister, Kremia, is looking out. She wants her to stay home, so she's going to say that we are going at 6 o'clock in the evening. Yes, that's right. Kremia is a delicious person. She's very creamy. See what I did there? But yes. But yes. We have an objective. We need to go with her at 6 o'clock to save the ranch. Or at least save the product of the ranch, that is. We're, mo we're moving... We are moving milk into the town. That being said, obviously... This being the dawn of the second day, we can't really get anywhere just sitting here. To that end, let's do the time warp. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? That's great. I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but everything's been getting unstable lately. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Omani has been worried too. She's been practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are the townsfolk saying about the moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? In town, I have a friend. Her name is Anju. Anju. The day after tomorrow is her wedding. I wonder if it will fall. That thing. What? The road. Boy, get your bow ready. First milk road is blocked by a boulder and now... We have to take this detour through ugly country. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll give a big thanks for you. And we're off! This is an interesting part of the game. It's basically a mini-game. Somewhat. You have to keep these bandits away from the back of your cargo at all times. If they get up to your cargo, they'll poke it with their pitchforks. I'm not really sure why pitchfork bandits are trying to pilfer my milk, but hey, I guess desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? Sometimes you gotta rob a bank, sometimes you just gotta rob a milkman. But I digress, these back roads are very dangerous. I'm not really sure why anybody would want to travel on these, but I guess, you know. Actually, come to think of it, I think I know why these two are after my milk so badly. They run a competing farm. I'm pretty sure these two run a competing farm because these guys remind me of Ingo from the Ocarina of Time. He's basically the guy who took over Lon Lon Ranch seven years later after you went into the future and Ganon wrecked everyone's faces. I'm pretty sure this is what they're after. They wanna, they wanna sell these milk bottles for high prices for getting them for free. Five figure discount right there. Mm. It just makes me want to shoot them even more. To be honest with you, these guys deserve all the arrows in their ass. All of them. Me? 
Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. We got Romani's mask. We can wear it with C and show we are a member of the exclusive Milk Bar Latte. That's right. That mask is only given to limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. She now acknowledges us as an adult. That's right. We're an adult. We are an adult. We have big boy shoes now. And now that story is completed. Honestly, I think Romani and Kremia are two of the most sweetest characters in this game. And this game makes me love side quests. Like seriously, this game right here. If you make a good side quest with a good story, you're gonna have a winning game. Just saying. Let's warp to Milk Road. Alright, so now that we're here, we want to go ahead and go over to this adjacent side path. But first, let me go ahead and open my inventory real quick and look at my inventory real quick and see that we have three bottles now instead of the two. That's right, that bottle of milk right there, that bottle of milk, they gave us a bottle with that. Anyhow, let's go to this path. As you can see, the moon is getting pretty full, pretty, pretty big. We don't have a lot of time left. But we must speak to the manager in store here. Anybody? Let's see if daylight brings it out. Because there should be someone here. There should be someone here. Oh crap, I can't even use that here. What am I doing with my life? Alright, Mr. Man, you should be in here right now. What's this sign? Temporarily suspended. Well then, I guess I should have expected them being cowardly and taking the coward's approach out of this. I guess, I guess I gotta use the Song of Time. There's no way around this. I gotta go back in time to the first day, get the keg again, and get in here to hopefully do this. So I'll be right back in 10 seconds, because you won't see all of this. That's the Song of Inverted Time, you numbskull! everybody, it's Dekinosai here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we did Romani's Ranch side quests, and today we're gonna finish off a little something something. But first, let's use the Song of Soaring and go to Milk Road, because I'm an awesome possum. That's right. That's right, let's warp all the way there. All the way there. All the way there. Now, if my theory is correct, I don't actually have to do all that crap over again. We could just go in there and get it done. And I keep confusing my way through all these alleyways. That's right, he's here on the first day, so I should be good. I should be good. Let's call in Epona, if I can remember the damn song. <laughs> Yay, Epona! How's it going, girl? I haven't seen you in forever. In fact, you just got kidnapped a few seconds ago, if you know what I mean. No, no, I want to talk to this guy. I want to talk to this guy. Come on, come on. Talk, talk to him. Talk to No, no. No, po Epona. Epona! Oh my god. Oh my god, for real, for real. Okay, let's, let's, let's get on him real quick. Climb. Okay. Alright, no, no, don't ram into the face, Epona. Don't ram it. Holy crap, I haven't played with the horse in so long. Turn around. Bring it- no! Oh no, don't go forward! Oh my god! What am I doing with my life? Let's pretend that never happened! Anyhow, let's go- let's get in there, let's get in there, let's try that again, this time with feeling. Epona, you're gonna get on the horse, you're gonna get on the horse. that's right, that's right. Okay, now we're gonna ride the horse into the place as soon as we can find it because we're misguided directions. Oh my god, let's do this. Now we're gonna talk to the nice man over here that isn't actually very nice. Thank you. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure, ain't that right, little brother? Yeah, shut up, Mario. That pathetic thing can't gallop for a shit. 
Uh, this guy, these guys are basically trying to teach us how to ride a horse. And we have to race him for 10 rupees, and if we win, we'll give him something nice. Or they'll give me something- I don't- I'm poor! I'm- I'm poor. I came here without ru- What am I doing with my life? This is the Bank of Hyrule, and I'm robbing it for a hundred dollars. Don't tell anyone. You would like to race against us for a hundred rupees? Yes. If we win, we'll give you something nice or something dumb. Something stupid like that. Just go once around the track. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. Stuff like that. Let's go. These guys are incredibly unfair. I haven't done this in a long ass time, so it's kind of unusual for me to succeed in my first try of doing something I haven't done in a while, so let's hopefully... Ugh, I'm running low on carrots already. I don't like the feel of this. Oh my god, they're ramming me in the fence. Oh! There we go! Ugh. Ah, I can already tell. Yeah, yeah, we're losing. We're losing! This is a losing battle. Sadly, it seems like they're just too powerful. Or maybe they're cheating. I know they're very devious. They're very devious in their nature, but really, I think I'm just being an idiot. I don't know, though. I feel as if... Mm, I'm getting it. I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's like... I just have to run this course once, and then I got it, and then I got it. Yeah, see? See? Just that one time, man. Just that one time. Let's race again, bro. Let's try that again, this time with feeling. Now I know better now. I know better now. It's it's very simple process, really. All I have to do is keep from using my power too much. There is going to be a point where eventually they slow down or take too long getting through somewhere, whereas I can do them more precise. Like this tree pattern, for example, they keep swerving, whereas I keep going around and I keep following the closest inner path. That's also very ideal. We want to be on the insides, mostly, because the outside line? I don't know, for some reason it feels like it takes longer for them to go through when they're not close to the to the ledge as I am. Now, I'm having a little bit of trouble here, but I'm keeping my carrots. I want to keep- Oh, whoa, you were just like ramming me in the face there, sir. That's not appreciated. You don't do that. You don't do that, mess. If we could jump this face, we got it. We got it. We got this right now. We got this. Let's do this! Oh, yeah! We got our winning shirts on. You lost to a bunny. What do you have to say to that? Big bro. <laughs> we gotta give them something. So, they lost their bet. They have to give us the Garrow's Mask. The wandering ninja spirits who appear at Ikana once wore this. That's gonna be important for later, but for now it's not really, not really very important. For now. For now. For later it will be. For now it's not. Needless to say, we got an important mask, and that's a very good accomplishment for today. We saved Romani Ranch, and we beat the crap out of two swindling idiots, for lack of better words. So, that about wraps up this episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Thank you for watching, I hope you appreciated today, and I hope I can do this some more. Honestly, it's kind of hard to find free time to do stuff like this, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do stuff. Hopefully. Until then, however, take it easy and deggy harder!